talk about serving others. And I'm going to start out by showing you one of my favorite shoes to wear in the summertime. What are these called, guys? Flip-flops. Do you have any flip-flops at home? No. That surprises me. You don't like to wear flip-flops. Why not? Not comfortable. I'd rather wear Crocs. Okay. Crocs are like sandals. They're like flip-flops. Do you have flip-flops at home? No flip-flops. But you got beautiful sandals on. And they're kind of like flip-flops, aren't they? Well, we go all winter wearing heavy boots and socks and then sneakers and shoes. And so when spring comes around, I'm getting my flip-flops out because it's so much easier just to slip them on. You don't have to bend over and tie them. And you'll learn about how that struggle is when you're older, not when you're younger. But flip-flops are fun to wear for me. Do you know what they wore back in Jesus' day? Yes, they wore sandals. They didn't have shoes. They didn't have boots. They didn't have socks. And they wore sandals. And the people who wore the sandals were, that wore them were only the ones that could afford them. Because sandals back then were expensive. And some, some people didn't even have any shoes. So to me, there's a lot of good things about flip-flops. But there's some bad things about flip-flops, too. What do you think might be bad about wearing flip-flops? They do break easily, especially if you're wearing them all the time. What's that? Sunburn. Sunburn, yeah. If you're out in the sun too long, you get your feet sunburned. And one thing that I always, if I wear them all day long and I'm out, you know, traveling, camping or whatever, when I get home in the evening, I look down at my feet and they're all what? Dirty. <laughs> Boots and sneakers and shoes like you're wearing, when you go home at night, your feet aren't dirty, are they? No. But when you wear flip-flops or sandals, and think about the people back in Jesus' day. They wore sandals all day long, so when they came home from working in the garden or with their travels, remember back then they didn't pave roads. Everything was dirt. So their feet were pretty dirty and pretty stinky, I'm thinking. And do you know whose job it was to wash feet when you would come home from somewhere? Or say if you had a party back in Jesus' day at a house, let's say a dinner or something, and you had guests come over and their feet were all dirty? The servants that worked in these homes had to wash everybody's feet that came in the house. Because their tradition back then was you didn't enter a house with dirty feet or wear shoes in the house. So the lowest servant of the home would wash their feet. Could you imagine, say at school, the principal? Can you imagine him washing the feet of all your students in your classroom? They had dirty feet. Or think of the president of the United States and he has a dinner party. Do you think the president would wash the feet of all of his people that came for his dinner party? No. But back in Jesus' day, Jesus was a very important man. Everybody believed he was the son of God, and they were followers of him. And he was more important than the president or a principal. But Jesus one day says, you know what? I have students, he had his disciples. I'm going to wash the feet of all my disciples and show that that's something important to do. We want to have clean feet. We want to serve others. And Jesus wanted to do that for his disciples to show all people should serve others. Just not, we shouldn't just help like people that we're friends with. We should help other people that are struggling. Say, for example, um, you're walking down the street and you see an older person crossing the street by themselves and they're struggling. You should walk over and help them. We have to serve others. God is teaching us to help others by serving others. Does that make sense? I'm trying to use that comparison with the flip-flops. So, let me just share with here. Um, seeing the man they believed was Jesus back then, washing the feet of his disciples sent a powerful message to the disciples. And it should send a message to us too. Jesus was the king of kings. He's the king of kings. If the king of kings would wash the feet of his own students, then he should treat our friends, our neighbors, and even our enemies like God did back then to his disciples. We should serve our friends and enemies and so forth. And that could be just as much as teaching God's word. So, washing feet can be a dirty job. It was one of the dirtiest jobs a servant can do, but it was not too dirty for Jesus. If Jesus was willing to wash the feet of men who were the followers, we need to be willing to serve the same way. Amen. Not necessarily washing feet of others, but helping others. Make sense? All right. Amen. Thank you.